This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at some use cases for ChatGPT. Okay, so I'm actually quite bad at lead code. Okay, so I have this code on lead code and I want an explanation for this code. You can do this easily with ChatGPT. All you have to say is that explain the code, paste the code over here and ChatGPT gives you the explanation of the code which is what you are seeing over here and this explanation is quite nice you can read the explanation and you can understand this particular code is for a javascript implementation for a particular longest palindrome function right it returns the it takes a string as an input and returns the longest palindrome okay a palindrome is a string that is same forwards and backwards within that input string so this is one use case okay so you can paste any code snippet and you can ask chat gpt to explain the below code okay the next thing is okay so the other way around i have a lead code problem okay and i need a solution okay in a particular language so all i say is that i paste the statement of the problem okay this is a two sum problem right and then i say give a python solution for this problem okay then lead code says that there are a few different ways you can solve this problem here is one approach using a hash table okay and it says that this has a particular time complexity i say that can you improve the time complexity of this problem it then gives me another approach to improve the time complexity from o of n to o of log n okay and then i can say that okay can you give me a solution python solution for this approach which was proposed over here it then gives me the python code so in this way i can actually now improve my lead code skills okay in a similar way if i want to learn machine learning right i want to ask a certain question over here what is the mathematical intuition behind say random forest algorithm it gives me an explanation about what is the intuition over here okay so in final uh, in mathematical terms the final prediction of a random forest is typically given by the average for regression or the majority vote for classification of the predictions of the individual trees it says the idea of bootstrapping it also explains about feature random feature selection and so on i can also ask what are disadvantages of random forest algorithm okay so in a conversational way i can learn a particular subject i want to create a course on machine learning okay so i can ask chat gpt to gpt to suggest the topics and then it gives me these suggestions okay i say i want to create a course on machine learning then it suggests that okay machine learning course should include these topics okay but here there is a mention of deep learning reinforcement learning and then i say that if it was for a beginner how would the contents change then here it changes the same content for a beginner okay so here it says these topics can be introduced but not covered in depth okay and then i can say a specific topic like introduction to machine learning and i can say okay now can you give me some contents on introduction to machine learning it will generate the content okay i can copy this paste it into a ppt or i can give a voice over of this content and then i can create a course i can create a email template okay so how do i write a prompt for generating email template by chat gpt there is a typo over here but then it says that you know you can create a prompt like this please generate an email template for a follow up email to a potential client the email should include a greeting and introduction and this is the this thing make use of these placeholders i put that over here please gen that prompt over here right and then it creates a email template okay now depending upon the prompt over here i can create multiple email templates i can also translate text okay so for example can you translate the following text in english to french it says chat gpt says of course please provide the text you would like translated so i said i am launching a course on machine learning um so this is the french translation and i tried it with google translate and this french translation is approximate uh, like appropriate and correct for this particular text so i can use it for machine translation i can use it for text summarization okay uh let's go to that okay so what i did was that i pulled out one article okay a news article i said can you generate a summary for the below text and i pasted that entire article over here okay this article on covid 19 i just pulled it like that 
and it just pulled a summary of this particular article. Now this could be any article over here. Okay, I wouldn't suggest for medical content because for medical content uh, using chat GPT for medical content because yeah, the data which needs which is coming out of chat GPT needs to be fact verified, right? So I wouldn't suggest that, but this is just a, a idea of summarization of a article. Okay. Uh, then I would want to use chat GPT to generate uh, code for data science tasks. For example, I have a large CSV file. How do I create a pandas data frame from it if, me from it if memory is limited? It says that you can read CSV function you can use and you can use, uh, you can do it in chunks. Okay. So that is the code which is given over here, right? So it will read in particular chunks and then it says, it also says there is an alternate solution. Okay. There's another task. I say, I need a code for extracting features from an image using ResNet in PyTorch. Okay. So here it gives an example of using a pre-trained ResNet model in PyTorch. It gives this code. I can take this code, paste it and I can run it. Okay. And I can make modifications, right? So this is about say making use of your uh, chat GPT for, uh, you know, uh, say code, generating code for data science tasks or generating code for any other tasks. Okay. Say I want to learn a programming language like Python. Okay. Then I say, I want to learn Python and then it gives me certain options or how I can learn Python. Right. Try an interactive tutorial, install Python. And so I say, what are the absolute basic topics that I should learn when learning about Python? And it gives me a list like the syntax, basic data types, control flow functions. Okay. Then I say, can you explain more about Python syntax and basic data types? It gives me the syntax with an example. Okay. So I can continue this in a conversational way and I can learn a programming language as such. Okay. What else can I do? Okay. Say I can use, uh, chat GPT as a stack overflow kind of solution, right? Say I got this uh, issue. I cannot install a particular Python library, PyMu, uh, PyMu PDF seems like uh, this thing. So then it says, okay, what are the solutions for it? Right. You can install a specific version. You can do pip install upgrade. Okay. Then I say that. Uh, so after this, if I were to ask like, uh, you know, uh, what are the Python libraries over here? Okay. What are the other uh, Python PDF processing libraries. Okay. Let's see if it gives something. Hmm. So it is actually working on that. So uh, let's see if it gives, yeah, it gives the other possible libraries like uh, PyPDF2 and so on. Okay. Right. So I can use chat GPT like stack overflow. Okay. The caveat is that in all these cases, uh, the assumption is that it gives a response with a certain accuracy, but sometimes it may not give it. Yeah. So that caveat is there. Okay. So it give me a list. It gives me a list of other libraries. Okay. Then what else can we do? Okay. We can also create PowerPoint presentations. Okay. When I'm saying we can create PowerPoint presentations, we can create content for PowerPoint presentations. For example, like help me create a high level presentation on NumPy. So it says that, okay, it could be these, um, you know, here is an outline of the presentation. Okay. Introduction to NumPy, basic NumPy array operations, array computation and processing, NumPy and SkyPy, advanced topics, conclusion, so on. Then I say that create a one slider on introduction to NumPy. It then creates this particular content. I can take this, copy it into a PPT and in that way, actually I can create a PowerPoint presentation. So chat GPT is quite useful. Um, use cases are uh, limited by your imagination. You can try out various use cases, right? You can try out various prompts for various use cases. So this was just a summary of some of the use cases, which I tried out and I found it useful. I hope you like this short video on chat GPT use cases. If you like the video, please like share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy learning.